you what I want to speak on today is faith and the power of the Holy Ghost. What I felt in my spirit. And I said, God, I'm going to be obedient to you. Hallelujah. That's the reason it's so important for us children of God to be instant in season and out of season and being able to be a vessel that God can use at all times. Because I'm telling you, there's going to be many times as you're walking in your ministry with God. Hallelujah. That he's going to speak. You might have studied for days. Hallelujah. And right before you get to that service, he's going to say, no, I don't want you to preach on that. I want you to preach on thus, thus, and thus. So you have to go right in there and be obedient to God. Hallelujah. Because I'm telling you, if you rely upon your flesh and say, no, I have studied on that, and that's what I've got to preach, I tell you what, you'll go in there and fall flat on your face. God will let you do it. <laughs> and then when you move in your own self, then that's when you cause messes. Hallelujah. And that's something I don't want to be guilty of. I do not want to move within my own self. Hallelujah, because I see the hour that we live in and how important it is for us to be completely led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I, I, I just believe that God is going to move and he's going to empower the vessels that he is bringing up and raising up. Hallelujah. Because you know why? They're getting a hold of God. They're getting a hold of God. Anytime you get a hold of God, the devil starts shaking. Because he knows that he's losing his grip and he knows that he has no power against the children of God. But when you know it, hallelujah, but when you know it, hallelujah, that's, how, that's what puts him to flight. Because he knows that the faith of God has built up in your spirit and in your heart. Hallelujah, that's the reason the Bible says in Daniel's, hallelujah, them that know their God shall be strong and do everything. Sports. You've got to know him for yourself. You've got to know the empowerment that he has put in your life. Hallelujah. And the only way you can know that is through prayer and fasting. That is the only way you can know it. There is no other way. You've got to read, study, and pray and fast. Hallelujah. God has put this thing in the order that he wants it to go in. And that's what you've got to do. If you want to truly know him. If you truly want to know him. And I do. Children of God, there ain't nothing of him that I do not want to know of. Hallelujah. And you know, he gives you parts here and there. How, in every little nugget that he gives me, I grab a hold of it. And I cherish it. Hallelujah. And I just want the Lord to expound upon it. And bring me into deeper depths and higher heights of him. I tell you what, children of God, you can walk in a place of God that angels uh, will be normal company around you. Hallelujah. And you'll be able to see them. Because God will open your eyes and let you see. It's just like when that king got upset because Elisha was telling the king of Israel, oh, don't go over that way. Hallelujah. They've got a trap set up for you. And so the king of Israel wouldn't go that way because the man of God said not to. I tell you what, it's wisdom to listen to a vessel of God that is seeking his face. I tell you what, children of God, this is an hour that we live in that we need to take heed to God's word. So every time that old evil king wanted to set a trap for the king of Israel, Elijah would tell him, hallelujah, because that little bird, <laughs> the Holy Ghost Spirit would speak to him and tell him exactly what's going on. You know, people don't understand this. Hallelujah. And so when that king got everybody together, he said, okay, which one of you is deceiving me? Which one of you is betraying me? Hallelujah, because everything that I speak in my bedchamber, the prophet knows, the king of Israel knows about it. Well, one of the men stood up and said, Oh, king, none of us is betraying you here. There is a prophet over there in the land that's hearing God's spirit, and a little bird cares to him. Everything that is said right here in this bedchamber, hallelujah. And he's the one that is warning the king of Israel to avoid our traps. And then the king got upset, and he said, Well, I tell you what, I'm going to send a host of army out of Gets that prophet, and you know uh, when they found out where. He
where he was. There come a drove of an army that tell you what, and it littered the land as far as you could see. And when the prophet's help got up, his servant, he went to the wind and he looked out that morning when he got up and he looked at that big host of army that was there to, to take them into captivity. He got upset. <laughs> but I tell you what, when you know God, these things don't upset you. They do not upset you because you know that you do not lean upon the arm of flesh. You lean upon the arm of God and you know without a doubt that nothing touches your life unless God allows it. And if he's allowing it, it has a purpose in it. But Elijah knew already that God wasn't going to give him into their hands. Hallelujah. And he walks in there to the room and, and that servant says, Oh, Elijah, look, look out. Well, he was looking in the corner. Hallelujah. And his flesh was shaking and trembling. Look at that, that vast army that's out there. Elijah went, over, Elijah went over and looked out. He didn't move him. He said, look. He, he just said, Father, open his eyes and let him see the host that is with us. It way outnumbers them that is laid out across that lane, <laughs> across that field. Hallelujah. If you could just know that in your spirit and ask God to open your eyes and let you see and behold the army that he has got prepared. Hallelujah. To deliver your, your, your feet and your hands. Hallelujah. And your whole life out of the enemy's hand. He said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Believe his word. Stand upon his promises and you'll see God deliver your feet every time. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but he delivered them out of them all. And I'm going to say that scripture until it gets embedded down in your heart, until you know it without even thinking about it. It'll come automatically to your mind. And you'll say, Father, you said uh, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but you will deliver us out of them all. And this too shall pass. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is wanting us to know this for a surety. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, when that spirit around here come against and try to uh, run us off from here, putting dead fish out there and vandalizing the building, I tell you what, they thought, well, that's just some old woman over there, some little old woman over there. Hallelujah. We'll just scare her real good, and she'll run away from that place. Uh, but they don't know who they're messing with. They're not messing with some little old woman that's a, a vessel in her own self. Uh, but I tell you what, I'm a vessel of God that he sent here, and no man natural will run me off from here until God says uh, for me to go. I'll be right here. Hallelujah. If I march through those doors right there, Hallelujah, with guns in their hands. Hallelujah, God will protect us. Hallelujah. Took authority against that thing. We was in revival here, and the Lord told me, he said, you get up. You tell about it. Because there were people here that very night. Hallelujah. That could carry the message back. That she, oh, she's not scared. Hallelujah. And sure enough, they were. Hallelujah. And that message got back to them. And that's the reason why a lot of that stuff, it quit. Because of prayer. And because of the authority of God's word. And because of his anointed. Because of his anointed. Hallelujah. And I tell you what. When I was in prayer at home. It's when the Lord showed me. He said, my protection is all around you. And he said, I go before you. And I tell you what he does, children of God. I don't care what it looks like in the natural. I don't care how the devil has fought up and hindered this work. It will prevail. Hallelujah. If enough can get shaken here, if enough people can get woke up, I tell you what, I believe that this work will flourish in a degree that you won't even be able to comprehend in your own natural mind. But I tell you what, I believe that God, he showed me that day. There was an angel before me on each side of me and an angel behind me. And every one of them was in a stance and they had their swords drawn up to heaven hallelujah and the Lord showed them surrounding my place where I live each one of them had their sword drawn then I saw them around the church and each one had their sword drawn and the Lord said nothing will touch you unless I allow it hallelujah and I tell you what that's what God has done that's why 
what he's done. That's the reason I don't fear when God sends me down on streets that most people are scared to go on because I know God has sent me. You have got to know when God sends you. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, he'll put, there's angels that'll go with you and protect you. But know that God sends you. Hallelujah. And that's the reason when this all come up. Hallelujah. I said, Lord, I don't want to tackle anything I'm not ready for yet. Hallelujah. Because sometimes we see, I said, Lord, have I prayed and have I fasted enough, Lord, to come back against this? And the Lord, he told me, he said, you go. You go in peace. He said, I'm going with you. Hallelujah. But then he brought different ones to my mind to contact and have them stand in prayer with me. Hallelujah, this day. You know, God knows how to gather in faith. Hallelujah, he knows how to gather in them soldiers that are praying and fasting and seeking God to stand. Hallelujah, against the enemy. And I tell you what, God will do that very thing because Lord will open your eyes and he'll let you see and behold. Hallelujah, exactly how that he has put in you and that he is walking with you. Hallelujah. Tell you what the Lord said. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And when you are given the Holy Ghost and you receive it and you start seeking for the face of the master, you start seeking everything that you can get from him. Lord, I want to be more like you. Father, clean my heart. Clean my spirit. Lord Jesus, help me to love like you. Lord, help me to pray like you. Lord, help me to walk like you. Father, help me, Jesus, to go forth in your name, Jesus Christ. Lord, bearing forth the testimony. Hallelujah. And that is a spirit of prophecy. It is the testimony of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, you will bear it forth in your vessel in this day and you'll go forth with the power and demonstration of the Holy Ghost. I tell you what, God, he is sending forth an army that he is raising up now. Hallelujah. That's hearing the cry and that's the key. You have got to hear the cry when God is speaking to you to pull aside. To pull aside. Hallelujah. You know, in my heart and mind, hallelujah, in my heart and mind, hallelujah, I tell you, my so purpose in life, hallelujah, is to do the will of the Father. That is my desire above all things, is to do the will of the Father. I don't purposely go out of my way to hurt people. And I don't go out and purposely try to offend anyone. Try my best not to offend nobody. Hallelujah. Within my own self. Even when I go out in revivals. Preaching. The majority of my time I am pulled off along with God. With the Lord. Because I've got to hear him. For what's going on right there in that area. That pastor that felt led by God to bring me for a reason. Hallelujah, because God sent me with a word. How can I go with the word if I'm not having my ear completely tuned into his spirit? Hallelujah. And that's a reason you don't see me out eating and drinking and carrying on with the people in the congregations. Hallelujah, because the Lord told me, he said, I have called you, hallelujah, to pull yourself aside to hear my voice. You've got to know what's going on because the enemy is out there prevalent and you have got to know exactly why I have sent you and what I want you to do in this time. Hallelujah. Every once in a while, I'll allow myself to go out and, 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 and eat a meal with someone, but it's very rare, hallelujah. And it's not because I don't want to be social. Hallelujah. It's because I know that I have got to hear God for those people. Hallelujah. And I have got to be in a place that I can yield my vessel. Hallelujah. That these spirits will be broke and drove back. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, that's what we've got to do as vessels of God. This is a time, you know, God didn't call us to be socialite preachers. Hallelujah. He didn't call us. Hallelujah. To take 
of the ear and pat people on the back. But he sent forth us by the spirit of his anointing. Hallelujah. To break the yokes. Hallelujah. 